Um, I, I'm really interested about the lost year, the Tony Blair lost year. So you got accepted to do law at, at uh, St John's in, in Oxford. You then went to London to be a rock producer at the age of 18. Um in the middle of the 70s. Now, it's not something I can kind of see Harold Wilson or Margaret Thatcher doing. You know, it, it must have been pretty wild. It was. I mean, it was a very odd decision. and My father was really opposed to it. And in the end, I remember he said to me, OK, I'll give you a one way ticket to London plus five pounds. And if that's what you want to do, go and do it. And I did. And I remember I all I had was an address of someone I'd I'd known in Edinburgh that apparently was in London. I couldn't get hold of them the first day. I actually slept, my first night in London was spent on a park bench somewhere around, somewhere around Notting Hill. And then I just, I just made my way for a year, but it was a fascinating time. And it really taught me an immense amount because I literally, I knew no one. And I just pitched up in London and yeah. A broad That's grin and a I swagger did. will get you anywhere you need to go. Is that right? Well, I, you know, when you're you're that age, you you, you feel you can do anything, and so I did. And I, I worked in a store for a time. I worked for the London Electricity Board for a short time, and then we started to make enough money from putting on uh, rock concerts because I met various people down there. Uh, that we, you know, then I spent most of my year doing that, which was fun but slightly strange. And, and um, when you went to Oxford and, and the famous Ugly Rumours band, which I, I think probably only performed about six gigs as far as I can find out, but it's part of the backstory in the Tony Blair legend. <laughs> but probably six too many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm told that you did a mean Mick Jagger and styled the kind of the pouting and the strutting all, all on, on him. Is, 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 that, yeah. is that legend that's, that's become folk legend or is that actually true? No, it's probably roughly true, to be honest, but Thank God, I always say to people, if there'd been social media around at the time I was at university, there's no way I'd ever have become prime minister. Mm -hmm.